Hello everybody, Dan here with the Wealth Instinct. I wanted to share with you my most recent article, The Most Important Skill in Business and in Life. Um, first, I'd like to ask a favor if you could subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can get updates. Um, I write and post articles and content about business and about personal development. So what is the most important skill in business and in life? I would argue that building relationships is the most important skill in business and in life. Uh, if you think about any anything that humans do of significance is done in groups of people. It takes interaction between people to make things happen. Um, and there is a lot you can do as a solopreneur. There's a lot you can do on your own, but you still need to build relationships uh, with, a, with a lot of different people, in particular with your customers, right? And, and you do that through sharing, through connecting with them, through providing valuable content. Um, there's a famous Harvard study you may have heard of, and there's a link here to that. Um, I think it's been about 80 years. And, and what they found is that the one thing that was consistent with the participants who were the happiest, the, the, happiest, the healthiest, healthiest, and the wealthiest was that they had good relationships. And it makes sense, right? If you have people that you can go to when you need help, it's going to help you to be happier, to have more opportunities, um, to have a, a more rich and full life. And, um, you know, I think a lot of things in life change and it's easy to get caught up in, in how much technology has changed, but it's important to realize that some things don't change. The, the basic ways that we interact as humans, our basic, uh, you know, friend or foe, human brain technology and relationships uh, hasn't really changed in, in modern human history, despite all the, the technological backdrop that has changed. You know, we, we communicate um, more quickly and more remotely through online video, through um, voice. But mass, mass communication really isn't new. I mean, writing has been around for a long time. I mean, look at the influence that books like the Bible or, you know, other other texts had once the printing press was developed and, and the way that, that writers were able to mass communicate and, and build relationships with people they never met isn't that different from what happens on the Internet. You know, on the Internet, it's 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 delivered in a digital way and it's it's much it's immediate and um, and you can have video, you can have graphics. Um, you know, so there's obviously some technological advances, but the basics of building relationships with other people um, hasn't changed. And if you think about business, I mean, what is, you know, every business, the most important thing is marketing and sales. And marketing and sales is really about finding customers, about finding people who you can build a relationship with and, and offer some value to them. And they obviously in return provide value back to you. Um, commensurate with the value that you're providing, right? And so that's the, the the business exchange that makes the business worthwhile. You add value, they find value in what you do, and, and they pay for your product or service. But it's all about building relationships. And when you have issues with your with your customers, well, now customer service is about repairing and maintaining those relationships, making sure that you're taking care of the people who, who you serve, who your, who your customers are. When you're trying to hire employees, you're looking for new relationships with people who can fill critical roles in your business. And it's really important to be able to, to be good at, 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 at developing those relationships and, and maintaining those relationships. And that's what management is about. Managing people is all about managing those relationships and helping people to grow, to grow and get better at the role they perform and, and give them opportunities to have new roles. Um, building relationships and maintaining relationships is really critical um, to all aspects of business. You, you may have heard of the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And um, if you haven't read it, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, this is a book that I avoided for a long time just because the title to me sounded uh, disingenuous. <laughs> I, thought, I thought, wow, this sounds so shady. You know, just like I used to look at, it's not who you know, it's not um, what you know, it's who you know, um, and think that that was a barrier to my success when really it's it's delineating the pathway to success when you just learn how to how to make friends when you learn how to connect with people it opens doorways for you and it's not something that that should keep you out it's something's an opportunity and this book is really just um 
really just about how to do that. It's about how to find things that you like and appreciate about people and share it with them. That's it. You know, you just, everyone has, you know, no matter what you think of other people, there's other people that like them, right? The people that you don't like that much, there's other people that really like them. They see things in them that they like. And if you take the time to get to know almost anyone, you know, obviously there's probably some exceptions, but most people, if you just take the time to get to know them, there's things about them that you can really like and admire. And if you just learn about them and share with them what it is that you really like and admire about them, that's how you build a connection and a relationship. And, um, and, and it's, you know, it, it is a technique and a skill, but it, it has to be done with sincerity and with honesty. And, um, and you've got to be vulnerable in how you do it. Uh, it can't be from a, a place of you having a place of power over someone else, right? It has to come from a sense of vulnerability, sincerity, and honesty. And, and when you do that consistently, you're going to develop more relationships and you're going to develop better relationships. And those relationships are going to help you in life. It'll help you in your business. It'll help you in your personal life. And um, this is just really just such a critical aspect to being human, I think. Um, one thing I think that, you know, with technology, people think, oh, well, everything's changed now. Everything's different. But really, human connection and human relationships haven't changed. It's just the technology and the way we connect. You know, if you think about, um, you know, now communication is so instant. Um, it's video. You can you can have uh, visual effects. You know, you can um, you can you can create very realistic videos um, quickly that that aren't real, <laughs> right? Um, so things have definitely changed, but I think there's still a need for honest and sincere sincere communication. And if you're willing to be honest and sincere, sincere in your communication and and really just try to connect with other people, um, the Internet's just a tool to do that. It, it, you know, it's, it's a new tool, but the, the basic. The basics behind it haven't really changed. And so I still would argue that the building relationships is the most important skill in business and in life because we're communal beings, because, you know, we create in groups in in individual relationships in small groups in small business in communities um in in larger communities in, as, you know as a country as a world you know in these expanding circles that move from from ourself it comes down to being able to connect and relate to other people so i'm sharing with you a link here this is a link uh, to jeff Lerner's uh, video um about his training um, and it's something I really recommend, like if you want to work on building a business and building your relationships, um, you want to be part of a online community that's dedicated to that. And that's what this entre nation is all about. So check it out. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments and, um, thank you so much for, for reading and for listening. And I look forward to seeing you online.